Okay, this is a little product demonstration on our 12 volt vacuum pump part number 10398. We get a lot of pre-sales questions on these vacuum pumps, so we thought it would make a lot of sense to do a little product demo on it to show you the capabilities of this pump and the size of it. Uh, you can see there that the, the height of the pump is approximately 90 millimeters. Uh, if you just turn that around, that dimension there is approximately 60 millimeters, and from the base of the pump to the tip of the barbs is approximately 55 millimeters. Now the vacuum pump has two terminals on it um, for connecting your power supplies up. Uh, it's very important to get it the right way around. Uh, you've got a red little spot there and that indicates that this is the positive terminal. This therefore is the negative terminal. Uh, so you can see that clearly, that's the positive terminal. If you connect it up the wrong way around, the motor will turn and it might fool you into thinking the vacuum pump's working correctly, but what will be happening is the impeller mechanism inside will be rotating in the wrong direction and you won't get accurate vacuum pull. It won't be pulling air in the inlet, compressing it and chucking it out the outlet correctly. Um, the two hose barbs here, if you look on the base right into the body and mould it into the plastic base, you can see direction arrows. There's one there that's pointing into the base of the pump and one here that's pointing out of the pump. The one pointing into the base of the pump is the inlet. This one here is the exhaust port. And it's important to say that that port there is exhaust. It's not pressure. It's, it doesn't have the capability to blow up air mattresses or anything like that, as we've been asked in the past. It really is just the exhaust there that's left over from the, the work of getting the, the air pulled in on the vacuum port or the inlet port. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this pump up and you can see that we've got a, a test rig set up here. Um, we uh, have 12 volts connected across here, power supply switched off just now, but um, this is all set up to 12 volts. And this pump actually draws 12 volts at approximately 1 amp. So if you're going to run this from one of these uh, you know, power mains adapters, you have to make sure that you get a 12 volts mains adapter that's capable of um, providing at least 1 amp. I think you get them uh, fairly readily at 1.5 amps, things like that, but we're using this uh, pretty beefy bench power supply. We've got this uh, this tubing, and this tubing is uh, just some stuff that we had lying about. But these hose barbs are quarter inch OD, so you need quarter inch uh, tubing, or about six millimeter tubing. And you can see that hole down the center there is approximately six mil, or quarter of an inch. That's really thick wall tubing that we have. It's actually rated to 20 bar, but you don't, you won't need anything like that. It's just what we, we had lying about. So what I have is I have it, uh, the the hose connected into the inlet and then I've got it going round here and onto the car camera angle there you should be able to see the hose coming into the bottom of this T-piece assembly. We've got a vacuum gauge on it and then we've got a piece of hose coming out the top and this hose coming out the top is connected to right now nothing. We're going to connect that up to something later on. But all I want to do is I want to show you that if I close that off, giving it a very small vacuum area to pull, in other words, just the inside of the tube, um, the, the maximum amount of vacuum that it can get down to. So I'm just going to switch that on. Now it's loud. Uh, it's a loud vacuum pump, so uh, forgive us for that. Uh, I'll just switch it on just now. Then I'm going to put my finger over it. You can see it's going at approximately 0.75 amps, about a quarter, about the three quarters of an amp. And I'll just put my finger over it, and you can see that it's all the way down to 15 inches of mercury. Uh, and it's jumped up to 1 meter of an amp there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a, a pretty cool test. We're going to get this all set up, and we're going to connect this hose that I just put my finger over. And we're going to connect it up to a, a sort of mineral water container, uh, seal it all off so we've got a nice seal, and then we're going to switch the power supply on and see how fast this pump can draw the air out of that mineral water container. Okay, so here we've got a demonstration of that vacuum pump wired up and all, we, all we've got is the hose coming out the outlet as before, uh, the, the vacuum inlet, sorry, as before, through the vacuum gauge and then you can hopefully see this in a little camera angle that we've got the hose going up and we've got it connected into this little 50 centiliter bottle. So I'm going to switch it on um, and we'll see that the power supply is at 12 volts and we'll just time how long it's going to take to crush this bottle down. So three, two, one. So 
So I made that from, from 0 inches of mercury down to about 15 inches of mercury, about then 9, 10 seconds, something like that. Okay, so this is the little demonstration with two vacuum pumps in series. All I've done is I've added uh, an extra tube from the output port of this vacuum pump to the input port of the other vacuum pump and I've wired another 12 volt supply in parallel so what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to see on the power supply there on the other camera angle the um, increased current draw from the power supply and we'll see how quickly this gets back down to 15 inches of mercury. Uh, so we're going to time it from me switching the power on uh, to when this bottle is fully crushed. Uh, hopefully you can see for the scale, the size of the bottle, it's a, a 50 centiliter bottle. So here we go, 3, 2, 1. So by my reckoning that was around about 8 seconds it got down to 15 inches of mercury there. And it actually went past with the two vacuum pumps in series, uh, it can pull down to about 17 inches of mercury. So not bad for a vacuum pump of that size. 